Hi folks, this is Dragon. Uh, this is a uh, equipment review on some uh, cooking gear. Uh, what we've got here in front of us is uh, uh, a pretty well known one. It's been discussed and uh, reviewed on the forum by forum members such as Scottish Lass and uh, Waveman. Uh, that's your gas canister single burner uh, stove. Very, very handy to have. So I won't go too much into that because I think we just about flogged that one to death. But there's another one too. Um, I picked this up a few weeks ago. And uh, this is what they call a dual fuel uh, stove. Um, in that it can use unleaded gasoline or diesel. Uh, it's not a bad little unit, uh, it comes in its own uh, vinyl case. It's got instructions inside, um, not the sort of uh, thing I would like to carry around in a backpack, but it could be another alternative for uh, natural disasters as a um, stove to uh, cook food or boil water. It's really quite simple to use. Um, there are some safety instructions included in there and also on the, uh, the side of the uh, dual uh, stove, burner stove. One of the, th <coughs> excuse me, one of the things that uh, you must uh, observe when using these is that you can't use them in enclosed areas. Um, Obviously, because of the fumes they give off, uh, burning um, gasoline or diesel, uh, it's not recommended. Uh, again, to be used as heating uh, inside confined areas or tents for the same reasons. But it's uh, quite a compact little unit, really. I remember using these when I was in the services, and they were a lot smaller, and they just used gasoline. I prefer to use diesel myself because, uh, well, that's mainly the fuel I use around here with the um, generators and the, the vehicles. But uh, I have used both in this, this burner. Um, the problem being with diesel is uh, it has a higher ignition point than uh, gasoline, so it's a little bit harder to light. Um, that's why I've included these uh, cotton buds or something similar you can use. Um, basically, the way it works and I can't really flash it up today because uh, unfortunately these need a wind guard and the breeze is uh, getting up quite a bit this morning and get some more rain this afternoon I think again basically uh, put your fuel in that cap in there the tank holds 450 mils of fuel uh, the spec say it'll burn for about uh, about three hours, but that you know that depends on um, a lot of uh, variable factors. Uh, you've shut off valve that controls your fuel flow out of your tank across the top here and down into the valve under this um, metal plate here. And the idea being is that. Uh, When you pressurise it with this little pump, works on the pressure pump system, much like this, the old methyl burners, uh, I think my grandmother had one. Turn the uh, fuel tap on, get a little bit of a uh, pool of fuel in there, in the bottom, just down here where the, uh, pointing the cotton bud at the moment, and ignite it. Of course the, uh, fuel tap is off when you ignite it. The idea being is that uh, when it burns, and it burns quite dirty, you can see soot and ash and all that sort of stuff all over it from fuel, uh, is that it warms up this area here and also warms up this pipe. And this pipe has a um, some sort of cord in it. Um, so uh, as the 
pressurized fuel is coming out comes across the hot section here vaporizes comes out through the jet under here uh, the problem with diesel is as I said it has a higher ignition point so um, it takes a lot longer for this to warm up and of course it's a lot harder to light that's why I, I just dip the cotton button there hit it with a lighter or something like that and just light her up and let her go the flames uh, at that point in use of it jump up about this high uh, orange flame and uh, very uh, dirty uh, burning flame lots of fumes and, and smoke so you let it uh, burn for uh, with uh, gasoline probably around about 30 seconds or so then slowly turn this on and what will eventually happen is that once the fuel burns out of the bowl here you should get a fairly clean flame burning around this area here uh, the same with diesel although uh, I have tried it with diesel and it's not as clean burning as gasoline some other features got the, uh, the fold up top here so you can sit a, uh, a pot or a billy on to boil water or if you want to do a little bit of cooking the uh, pressure pump pump it up a few times to pressurize the, uh, the fuel in the tank the tank holds uh, about 450 mils of fuel and I said the, uh, the dry rate was weight of this is, is about 510 grams so uh, on the four on this conversion table there I'll, I'll probably do the conversion for you for the uh, overseas members what I've done is I've uh, as I said I use diesel a lot so um, coming back to the test tubes again um, I store diesel in that to fill this up now that's 50 milliliters so it's going to take a few of those to fill that tank right up the other little uh, tool I've got in front of me this comes with the uh, the dual uh, fuel burner is a uh, maintenance uh, toolkit it's got uh, slots in there for spanners to undo the um, nuts like this take the uh, the valve out of the bottom because they do need regular cleaning um, cheap spanner for the valve and I don't know if you can see it in this video but there's a very fine piece of wire there on the end of this piece of metal that's to, to clean your, your jet out because they will carbon up um, probably get a bit of build up of uh, paraffin on there too so um, they do need some maintenance And that just goes, uh, it comes with it, fits in the bag in the, into a, a side pocket. Underneath, we have three legs. And these fold in. Like that, so it can be um, stored away in the bag. And uh, ready for the next use. Same with the, uh, the top uh, jaws up here for uh, sitting in pots or billies or whatever you want to put on top of it to cook or boil water. Cook or and boil water, I should say. You can cook water. I know people who can burn water. Um, so that's uh, another alternative. Um, I know with these types of stoves in sub zero temperatures, uh, particularly with heavy frosts. There is a gas flow problem from the canister into the burner. Uh, with these ones, um, I think the fuel you've really got to look out for is diesel. Um, I'll look up the figures, but diesel, uh, uh, just pure diesel, no additives in it, antifreeze additives in it, uh, does freeze and turn to a gel. And of course, when it warms up, it doesn't reconstitute either, it just stays as a gel. So, uh, That might be something that um, you have to look at for, for much colder climates. So, uh, 
that's that's another option uh, guys uh, ladies and gents so quite a versatile little uh, cooker and uh, as soon as this wind dies down a bit today or sometime I'll uh, flash it up and uh, give you a demo on it well folks this is the uh, dual fuel uh, stove the winds died down a bit so I would do a shoot on this um, you have to bear with me because I'm working one handed at the moment so what I've done essentially is uh, pumped up the uh, pressure in the pressure tank with this just do that a few times don't over over pressurize it then this little red uh, handle here it's off at the moment just turn it counterclockwise until you get a pool of fuel in the bottom of the burner Just a little bit there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Certainly smell it, that's for sure. Alright, just down in there. You can see some fuel now. You don't want to put open the valve up too much so you've got fuel spilling out down here. And this is one of the things you've got to be very careful of with these burners that if you've got a fuel spill out here, don't light it. Clean it up, get it off otherwise you're going to find yourself in serious trouble all right got a pool of fuel there just turn that valve off now the easiest way for me to light this uh, one hand at the moment I'm just using a cotton bud Stick it in there. Now you can see the flame, all right? Now, this has got unleaded gasoline in it at the moment. So you've got a little burn like that for a while to warm up the other areas, like I said before. With diesel, it takes a little bit longer. Still a bit of a breeze here at the moment. This is I was talking about the, the height of the flames and the, the smoke and the fumes coming off it. So you can't, really can't use this indoors. It's got to have good ventilation. And uh, it's still a bit of a breeze here today, so it really needs a, a wind guard around it too. So that's something else to, to consider. All right. We'll see if that's warmed up enough. Just turn the valve back on, turn the fuel on. The flame as it is now helps to vaporise the fuel to come out through the jet. And you hear it starting to hiss. That's the fuel vapour coming out through the jet. As you can see, because it's vaporised properly, the dirty flame's gone out and that's quite a clean flame burning there. You might also note that it, uh, yeah, it's pretty noisy too. So that's using uh, unleaded uh, uh, gasoline. You put a billy on top, sit on top like that, and uh, We'll see how long it takes to boil. It'll boil faster uh, with a lid on it, but I haven't got a lid for this one at the moment, so we'll see how long it, uh, it, it takes. It's about a cup of water in there. So, uh, see what happens. Here's a shot of the flame underneath. It's burning uh, quite clean, it's almost blue. A couple of flickers of orange there. 
that's vapor I feel coming out the jet. So one of the important things is that when you light this to start off with, um, the orange flame that we saw earlier with the dirty smoke and everything, that's that's got to warm that whole burning system up. So uh, that's quite a clean a clean flame. Okay, we're about two minutes into this and you can see that the water is quite hot to the point where it's uh, steaming. So it's, uh, it's almost up to a, well, pretty much a simmer. So it won't be long before it's boiling. Okay, it's just come up to the boil and that's taken uh, a little over three minutes, closer to four minutes. A little bit slower because uh, there's still got a bit of a breeze here and I haven't got a windbreak around it so it's uh, knocking the flame around a bit. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good hard boil, that. That's about a cup of water. Okay folks, this is a demo of the uh, dual fuel uh, cooker. Um, this time I've uh, given it a good clean out and put diesel in there. So, um, same deal again. Pump this up to pressurise the fuel in the um, fuel tank. Turn the valve on until you get a small pool of fuel under the um, this metal plate there not to the point where it's dripping and oozing out down the sides okay so give it a go okay got a small pool there I don't know if you can see it. Turn it off. Same deal. Now because it's diesel, it's going to take a little bit longer uh, to warm that heating system up. Uh, pretty much like uh, preheaters on a diesel engine. Okay, so it's going to take a while to do it. A little bit longer than uh, petrol or gasoline. Now on the sides of these, uh, there's safety instructions. So. Um, if you happen to have one of these or buy one, please read the safety instructions and adhere to them. Now what's going to happen is that that diesel has to heat up the pressurised fuel going through there to the point where it's vapour. And as we know diesel has a higher ignition point than gasoline. And again, it's burning with a very dirty flame. Um, that's the, the preheater sequence in uh, using these uh, stoves. So once again, um, even lighting these up, uh, you've got to have good ventilation. Okay, let's see if um, she heated up enough. Starting to hiss. The diesel is a very dirty fuel to burn. hear that hissing sound that's the fuel vapor starting to come through actually it probably needs a little bit longer to warm the fuel up The 
this breeze here is knocking it out around a bit. Alright, we'll try again. Hear the hissing there. That's the uh, diesel fuel vapor coming out the jet. You can see the flame starting to clear itself up a bit now, starting to burn a lot cleaner. Okay, that's about as clean as uh, that diesel flame's going to get. You can see a bit of blue on there sometimes. Uh, this breeze is knocking it around a bit, so I'll put the billy on. Uh, this is cold water, about a cup again. And we'll see how long it takes to boil. As you can see there, that's the diesel flame. It doesn't burn anywhere near as clean as gasoline, but these uh, st stoves are designed to burn both fuels. So, uh, that's something uh, you might want to think about uh, when you choose which type of fuel you want to use in these. As I said, I use diesel uh, because uh, most of my gear, vehicles, generators, uh, use diesel, and uh, I don't have much gasoline here at all. So um, that's still quite a hot flame. It doesn't burn as clean as gasoline, uh, but it's still working, still usable, still functional. And it's just starting to rain, so I hope I get this finished because this camera's not bloody waterproof. Okay, we're about uh, three minutes into this with the diesel fuel. Uh, that water's getting quite hot, it's starting to steam, a few bubbles coming up. Again, we've got a bit of a breeze blowing here and it's really uh, knocking that flame around a bit so it's actually drawing some heat away from the bottom of a billy. So, uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, that water's just starting to boil. Coming up to a pretty hard boil at the moment. Now that's taking a little bit longer than the gas gasoline uh, fuel. Um, that's, that's got a good hard boil on it at the moment. So it took a little bit longer uh, using diesel. It took a little bit longer for the preheating stage of uh, using these stoves. As you can see, uh, the flame is not doesn't burn anywhere near as clean as gasoline, but uh, nonetheless, uh, it, it can and does use uh, both types of fuel. So uh, there's another alternative uh, cooking or um, stove for you to uh, boil water and do some bit of cooking. Uh, certainly good for natural disaster situations. Um, they don't take a lot of fuel, don't use a lot of fuel, but then again it depends how often you use it as well. Um, certainly uh, here in Australia with uh, bushfire conditions, the fire danger is high to clear an area around that. and. Um, it's quite safe to, 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 to use as opposed to, a, to an open fire with ash and sparks and all sorts of stuff flying around causing spot fires and starting bushfires and that sort of thing. So um, there's a bit of a review for you. Um, it probably wouldn't be my primary uh, stove. Um, it's uh, plan A, B, C or D or F, I don't know which one I'm up to at the moment, but it's there if I need it. I still prefer to use the gas canister ones, um, 
but there may be odd times when uh, might need the uh, uh, this one or both of them or whatever the case may be. So there it is, folks. And uh, for Australian members, they are available on Australian eBay. Uh, quite expensive, but I haven't seen around uh, these around for a long, long time. So uh, there's another option for you. Thank you for watching.